Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So most PCs are connected to the same wireless network on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I know there is obviously the exception to the norm, but most people generally are connected um, to the same network um, from day to day. And um, you may have noticed, though, um, that when this is the case, that sometimes um, your connection switches between different networks automatically. Now, this happens when there are... Um, more than one access point and there is more than one access point available so if you have multiple wi-fi access points um what will happen is obviously um if you have logged on to those access points previously and you've had authentication to those wi-fi access points what will happen um is if you are moving around as an example um your windows 10 and windows 11 operating system um will switch from one wireless um, network to another because obviously it's looking for the better and stronger connection which um, obviously is what you want because um, you want to be connected to the better connection um, at all times. Now, this can be of use, obviously, but um, you may have noticed sometimes when a connection jumps from one access point or network to the other, it, there is sometimes a slight disruption, which although um, having um, this kind of choice for connections as you move around um, can be useful, as mentioned, it can cause disruptions when you are chatting online or streaming or downloading, which may not be the ultimate and the best solution. So believe it or not, there is actually a setting that you can disable uh, in Windows 10 and 11 to disable this automatic connection if you don't want that to be happening. And it's actually a, a very simple process. So you can follow the steps in this video for both operating systems once again. So for this, we need to at first head over to the legacy control panel. And if you don't know where the control panel is, I would just suggest doing a search for control panel. And once you've got access to the control panel, if you have um, the category view, I would just suggest changing that to large or small icons. And then you would head over to network and sharing center. And yeah, you would just click on your connection. So I'm clicking on my Wi-Fi connection and this will open up your Wi-Fi status menu. And what we need to do now is we need to click on this tab called wireless properties, which will now open up um, the actual wireless network properties. And yeah, you'll see there is a setting. Look for other wireless networks while connected to this network. Now, as far as I do know, this is disabled by default in Windows 10 and Windows 11. But and for some reason, this may have been enabled um, accidentally or a previous RT admin could have enabled this or whatever. But if you do see this, have turned on what I would suggest is just toggle that off uncheck the box so what will happen now once you've done that is obviously um, uh, Windows won't look for other wireless networks anymore while connected to that actual network the same network and as mentioned could be beneficial especially if you don't want disruptions and you do find yourself maybe um, located in one place and are not moving around too much and just on a side note, um, you will need to repeat this process for other wireless networks, which obviously goes without saying. So that's just a quick way, um, in case you're unaware, how you can disable that automatic connection um, from trying to jump between different wireless connections automatically. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.